Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, annual percentage rate naman ang pag-uusapan natin. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. ABR or annual percentage rate, ito yung interest rate lang na ginawang per annum. Usually, ginagamit ito pag may loan at bago magkaroon ng compound interest, dinedetermine muna itong APR. Banks usually inform the borrower regarding their APR before the loan starts. So, syempre, bago ka mag-loan, kailangan alam mo muna lahat ng detalye ng hihiramin mong pera. At isa sa dapat na sasabihin sa'yo ng banko ay yung tinatawag na annual percentage rate. Ito yung formula ng annual percentage rate if ever na hindi nabanggit doon sa borrower yung APR sa banko kung saan siya humihiram. So, ito ay estimation lamang. Ibig sabihin, this is not the exact value. Nag-approximate lang tayo. Ang capital N ay yun yung number of payments kung ilang gives mo siya ibabalik. Tapos, yung R is the simple interest rate. So, we find the approximate APR for Joseph's 3-year loan when he purchased a refrigerator for 21,000 pesos at 15% interest to be paid monthly. Recall natin yung formula for APR. This is approximately equal to 2 capital NR, tapos ito ay N plus 1. Ang N natin dito ay kung ilang beses siya magbabayad. Di ba meron tayong tatlong taon? Sa isang taon, meron tayong 12 months. Kasi babayaran niya monthly eh. Kaya 3 times 12, our N here is 36. And for R, ito yung ating 15% or 0.15. So yun, substitute lang natin. This will become 2 times 36 times 0.15 all over N plus 1. We have 36 plus 1. Then pwede natin itong ma-determine ng derecho sa ating calculator. We will have 0.2919. So round off natin sa fourth decimal number kasi nga ito ay gagawin pa nating percent or 29.19%. So ito yung APR na ia-apply doon sa loan, 29.19%. Next, we go to example 2. This time, I want you to pause this video for a while. Siguro 10 seconds din akong titigil sa pagsasalita. And then try solving this on your own. After 10 seconds, i-reveal natin yung tamang sagot. Again, we look for capital N. Ito kasi, monthly din babayaran, tapos 2 years. So, meron tayong 2 times 12. This is a total of 24 months or 24 times siya magbabayad. Yung rate natin ay 15% din. So, 0.15. Hindi laging R equals to 0.15 ha. Nagkataon lang na pareho yung rates sa ating first and second example. We have year 2, capital NR, for the numerator, tapos N plus 1 sa denominator. 2 times 24 times 0.15, all over 24 plus 1. We will arrive with an APR of 0.288. Yan, sakto. Wala tayong i-round off. Kaya naman, diretsyo na natin yan gawing percent. Yan. So, ang um, ating APR is approximately equal to 28.80. Para saan ginagamit itong APR na to? Ginagamit to para makompute kung magkano yung magiging monthly payment nung humihiram ng pera. At kung paano yung ginagawa, yan ang pag-aaralan natin sa next video. So, make sure you watch the next video dahil yun naman ay tungkol sa monthly payments. Thank you for watching! If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video!